First grade friends, welcome to Music with Mrs. Buffo. Mrs. Buffo, it's Maestro here. Can I help with today's lesson? I sure hope so, Mr. Maestro. I know our first graders are excited to see you again. Are you sure? What if they forgot my name? I don't think they could forget your name, Maestro. It's so unique. It sounds like it's from a different country. You know it is. It's Italian and it has some special musical meanings. Hey, I did remember that. That's right, it's Italian. You got it. Maestro is the Italian musical term for a conductor or director of music. It can also mean a distinguished musician. That's very good and neat, Mr. Maestro. I'm so happy that you're with us today. Are you ready to show our first graders a review on some musical terms? You better believe it. Strap in, folks. Here we go. Hey, guys. Today, we're going to review some musical symbol terminology, including quarter note, ta, a pair of eighth notes, tt, a group of sixteenth notes, ticka ticka, and finally, a quarter note rest. The first music notation symbol I'd like you to remember is this one. We call it a ta, but it's really known as a quarter note. Let's learn how to draw it. A ta is a pretty simple one to draw. It's made up of two main parts. We have the note head, which is the circle and the stem. Which part comes first? If you remember from kindergarten, the stem comes first. It's a straight vertical line that starts at the top and goes to the bottom. Next, we're gonna add the note head. It starts at as a nice big circle. It looks like the letter D. If it looks like the letter D, it means it's done. If it looks like the letter B, whoopsie, it means it's backward. What's the difference between this one and this one? <gasps> this one's colored in. That's step number three. Let's color in our note head. Mrs. Buffo, this one always reminds me of a pair of pants with two shoes. Hey, Maestro, you're exactly right. That's what it looks like. What do we call this one again? Oh, thanks for asking. That one's called a TT. No, no, no. What's its real musical name? Oh, that's right. This one's called a pair of eighth notes. Why is it called a pair? Well, there's two of them. Like a pair of shoes? You got it, like a pair of shoes. One shoe, two shoe. What about a pair of pants? Oh, uh, that one's kind of confusing. I think it's because of the legs. One leg, one leg means it's a pair. This one starts out a lot like a ta. We have two note heads instead of one and two stems instead of one. There's something different. That's the bar line. Let's start out with two nice vertical lines. Add a note head circle. Oh, do they look like the letter D? That must mean they're done. Let's color in those note heads. Oh, that's simple. We need to add the bar line from the top of one to the top of the next. This next one's pretty tricky. Do you remember this? It's called a ticka ticka. It's also known as a group of 16th notes. Why is it a group? Well, it's more than a pair. A pair is only two. And a few is three, right? So this is a group. How many note heads do you see? One, two, three, four. Remember the note heads are the dots. Let's find out how to draw this one. Just like the last two rhythm notation symbols, we're gonna start out with vertical lines. Now we need to add the note heads. We just finished with the stems, so now we need the note heads. Circle to the left, circle to the left, Circle to the left and circle to the left. Excellent. Hey, what do I need to do to those note heads? Let's color them in. The final step is to add two bar lines. Remember the first bar line turns them into a TT, one bar line. So this would be T, 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 T. But we don't want a TT, we want a ticka, ticka. So we need two bar lines. There you go. Ticka Ticka, also known as a group of 16th notes. Hey, Mrs. Buffo. Yes, Maestro, what do you need? There's one music symbol I can't remember. Hmm, it makes you be really quiet. What's that one called? It kind of, it doesn't make a sound at all, but it kind of holds a space. Hmm, what could you be talking? Oh, I know, you're talking about a rest. A rest is a placeholder. It doesn't make a sound, but sometimes when we're just learning, we go like this. Shh in its place. Let's talk about a rest. We're gonna start off with a 
little angle just like that. Then we go down one more time and we end it with a backwards C. That's gonna be our quarter rest. Okay, friends, let's get to the fun part. Let's make some rhythms. Okay, are you ready for our first rhythm? We're using two different notation symbols. We have a ta and a tt. Let's see if we can do it together. A one, two, ready, go. Ta, tt, ta, tt. Let's try that one again. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Ta, t, t, ta, t, t. Okay, here's another one. This time we included the ticka tickas. Let's try it together. A one, two, ready, go. Ticka, ticka, t, t, ticka, ticka, ta. One, two, ready, go. Ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ticka, ticka, ta. Okay, let's try this one together. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ticka, ticka, ta. Oh, if that was too hard, it just means we need to practice, which means learn again. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ticka, ticka, ta. Here we've got that quarter rest. We're gonna place hold it today with the sound shh. Let's try this one together. One, two, ready, go. Ta, shh, ti, ti, ta. Let's try it without the shush sound. Let's see if you can do it without making a sound at all. One, two, ready, go. Ta, T, T, Ta. Was that too hard? If it was too hard, let's practice it one more time. Ta, T, T, Ta. Well, Maestro, what did you think about that lesson today? I think our first graders sure know their stuff. Thanks so much for watching Music with Mrs. Buffo. You guys have been grand. I can't wait to see you back in my classroom. Today, we talked about maestro's name, which means a distinguished musician, a conductor, or a director in Italian. We also discussed these four music notation symbols. We have a quarter note, a quarter rest, a pair of eighth notes, and a group of sixteenth notes. What are their nicknames? We have ta, sh, tt, and ticka ticka. Thanks for watching Music with Mrs. Buffo. I hope to see you soon.